right, today we're starting with ratios and proportions. We're going to first talk about what is a ratio. A ratio is a comparison between two things. Okay, for example, if you can bike 15 miles in 45 minutes, what is your ratio? That would be 15 miles in 45 minutes. You can write it as 15 over 45, which is the most common way we will write it. You'll also see something like this, 15 to 45 written like that. Okay, that can also be reduced to down to one third, so one mile in three minutes. Okay, now a proportion is basically two ratios set equal to each other. So set equal to each other. So if you can bike 15 miles in 45 minutes, how far can you go in one hour? Well, one hour is 60 minutes. Right there is a proportion that we can solve. One way, you, what you want to think about when you set this up is that was 15 miles in 45 minutes. So how far would be x miles in 60 minutes? Okay, so if you have minutes on the bottom, you want minutes on the bottom in on the other side of the proportion. Okay, but basically the proportion, two fractions, two ratios set equal to each other. Okay, next we're going to talk about how to solve ratios, comparison of two numbers by division, and a proportion and equation stating that two ratios are equal. To solve a proportion, you cross, multiply, and then solve the equation. So here, when we cross multiply, x over 10 equals 3 over 5, you have 5 times x, and 10 times 3. 10 times 3 is 30, and we know how to solve that. That's multiplication, so the opposite is divide, so you get x equals 6. Okay, and then you can just plug it in there, 6 over 10, yes, that reduces to 3 fifths. Okay, or the right, we are going to have some ratios, or some proportions that have binomials in it. Okay, or full terms such as x minus 3. When we cross multiply, it is 6 times that whole thing, x minus 3, equals 14 times 7. Okay, now 14 times 7 is 98, equals, distribute here, 6x minus 18. Add the 18, you get 6x equals 116. And right there, when you divide, just reduce. You can leave as improper fractions, but reduce it. Let's see, 2 goes in 58 times, 2 goes into 6 3 times, so 58 thirds. Okay, now one other way to solve that, let me change color here. One other way to solve that, sometimes easier when you're simplifying, or sometimes easier to simplify, you can simplify 6 over 14. Okay, 2 goes into 6 3 times, 2 goes into 14 7 times. That just makes your numbers a little smaller to deal with. So when you cross multiply, you get 3 times x minus 3 and 7 times 7. That's 49. Distribute here, 3x minus 9. Add the 9. That's 3x equals 58. Divide by 3 and you get your 58 thirds. So either way you get the same thing, just sometimes easier when you simplify up front versus in the end. All right, our next one over here on the bottom. When you cross multiply, you have two binomials there, which is fine. You have seven times n minus five equals two times n plus eight. You have to distribute on both sides, so seven n minus 35, equals 2n plus 16. Minus the 2n, you have 5n minus 35 equals 16. Add the 35, you get 5n equals 51. So when you divide by 5, you'll get 51 over 5, and you can just leave it like that. Okay, improper fraction is fine, so 51 over 5. Okay. Now, the next one, we have an n on one side, n plus 2 on the other. Okay, same difference though, which is cross multiply. 4 times n equals 7 times n plus 2. You want to distribute. And minus the 7n. So negative 3n equals 14. 
divide by negative 3. So we'll just have n equals negative 14 thirds. And that's it. Okay, that's how you solve for portions. So this first lesson, that's what you're going to be practicing. Okay, here are your you try questions. Just two of them. Go ahead, write them down, try them out, and we will go over them in the next class.